despite the fact that this little uh, handheld camera thing is awkward and bizarre as hell, um, I wanted to share some more things in terms of the process that's been going on, because people keep trying to get me material and say, well, does it have to be exactly this certain way or whatever? And um, this particular project, I've been following a pretty found art sort of approach, um, which has been, I mean, it just happens a lot of times. I mean, whether it's just finding kind of a full out art mode here, building boxes full of <coughs> items. But the other day I was walking down the street, had this idea, and actually I was trying to sleep, and I had that image of a heart just beating um, with all of these wires attaching to it. And so I immediately woke up and ran out and got a beef heart from a butcher and um, found this, which is kind of an enclosure around it. Um, decided it probably wouldn't be safe to electrify it to make it pulse, so I think probably an air pump is going to be, if you do any motion with it, it's going to be that way. Um, and then meanwhile, uh, kind of just found a bunch of memor memorabilia of my own, which has, some of it has, you know, meaning for me, which might not convey itself uh, literally one to one to the viewer, but that's that's fine. That's part of it. And I was also thinking I needed an Ouroboros. And at that very moment, sure enough, I found a screen print lying on the street, side of the side of the road. So, and um, then I kept walking, and um, Datura is a poisonous hallucinogen, and it just grows free around here. I can't actually do any of it. Don't worry. Um, but I found that cherry plant, uh, where I get off to now, I was looking around for the perfect seed pod that it split open, it looks almost like an egg from Aliens, if you like zoom in on it, I mean, I really could use a micro lens to get the effect that I want, but I might use a regular one and then, and then whack on it to kind of give that extra, uh, hyper real look that, um, thinking I'm going to go forward with it, although it's, you know, you kind of, that's the thing, you explore the pieces that you have, you explore what materials you have and what kind of psychological imagery you're trying to get across with a story or with whatever, and you, you work with what's available, because sometimes you don't have a hundred million dollar budget to work with. So, anyways, that's Indie Art 101. <laughs>